Hi all, hope you are well and if you're in the Midlands part of the country and particularly Yorkshire, I hope you are okay with these floods. Anyhow, sorry I've not been with you for a while. Uh, it's been half term so I've been spending some time with the family and we went up to Yorkshire and then we've been to chemo. So I had chemo yesterday, I'm feeling fine and the reason I'm feeling fine is because they've given me steroids. So these ones are dexamethasone and if any of you have taken steroids which i know you won't have unless they're medical um they give you quite a lot of an energy and a buzz um but they then taper off during treatment so then you hit the uh fatigue and fairly uh fairly exhausted stage but at the moment i'm on these but i had a I had a, a a giggle to myself when i saw the label on the bottle so as you'll see you will know if you've taken medicines there's always a warning label on the bottles and it reminded me, when I was 15, I was a bit of a geeky, um, very into sport, but also into computer studies. And my mum and dad had bought me an Acorn Electron. And if you're of my age, you'll know what that means. If you're not, you won't have a clue what I'm talking about. But anyway, it was the bestest computer of the time. And because I was fab at writing programmes, they then bought me a uh, BBC Micro, which is a huge white computer. Um, and as I say, I was, I was obsessed with writing programmes. And I'd forgotten, age 15, um my school worked with the chemist and they wanted somebody to write a program to print by legislation he had to print all the warnings on all the drugs and they needed a program to match the hundreds and thousands of drugs and warnings together and i was the geek to do it and my mum gave me this i don't know if you can see it this is the printout from the newspaper you can see me as a as a young ms wainwright here with uh, with the chemist in the local village in royston barnsley and I'd forgotten, so I wrote this programme age 15 and it went on to Channel 4 um, and it was used in the chemist and it was used um, much broader then to put the warnings on. So it was fascinating to get the bottles and it made, made me think of many, many years ago. 35 years ago that was uh, that was written. And today, these are the drugs that I'm on. So there's codeine, which is a painkiller, as you might know. Aspirin, painkiller. So I'm Daxitoxyl, the chemotherapy treatment I'm on. Um, it makes your bones ache and you feel flu-like and actually these two keep me going not too many of these only in kind of day six seven eight after daxatoxyl do i need them but everybody's different as we say other things are meprazole so that's to protect my tummy with all the medicines that's going in but look at the warnings check it out started here cyclozine no idea but that's another one i've got fluconazole no idea Metroclopramide, no idea, and loperamide, lo loperamide. Anyway, lots of them are to settle tummies, lots of them are to uh, pain relief, um, quite a few are to um, help should I get infection, because as you know, your immune system is down when you're on uh, chemotherapy, so you can easily get infections. But yeah, every single one of them has got a label on it and it made me very proud and also very old, bearing in mind it's 35 years ago that I wrote this programme. Uh, I'm very proud of myself, I have to say. I'm kind of questioned, should I have gone into computing? I could be extremely wealthy now, I'm sure, if I'd have gone into that. But I would not change one step of my career, I have to say. I've had an exceptional career to date working in sport. So I did both sport and computing and chose to go down the sport route and I'm delighted. But... So this is me after chemo. You can see I'm excited. I've got lots of energy and it's due to these little monkeys. But believe you be me, by Monday, I'll be uh, tucked up, achy and painy, um, but hopefully not too bad. So I've got one chemo session to go in 21 days and I'll keep you posted. Hope you well. Take care. Bye.